Now, let's talk about how if we had a primary alcohol, we, how we could convert that to an aldehyde. Now, if we want to convert to carboxylic acid, that's easy. We use chromic acid or dichromic acid. Well, how do we stop it without, stop it from going full blast? Well, what we can work with are two different compounds, pyridinium dichromate and pyridinium chlorochromate. And you say, well, you talked about chromic acid in a previous video. What's the difference? Two things, the pyridinium. So the pyridinium here is going to basically be the protonated form of pyridine. So here we got pyrid we got pyr the pyridinium atom. In the case of the chromic acid, the CrO4, we've actually got CrClO3. And in terms of the PDC, we've still got the dichromate, but they're both bound to pyridinium. Why is that important? Effectively, what we're doing is we're poisoning the chromium, um, the chromate and the dichromate. So the pyridinium here and the chloro for the chromate here are making them less effective oxidation catalysts. Now, the other thing we're doing, which is very distinct from using the chromic acid, is that we're not working with water here. We're working with methylene chloride, CH2Cl2. So by switching to the pyridinium form of the chromium catalyst, chromium um, acids that we were working with for oxidation earlier and switching to methylene chloride, we're effectively hindering these materials' ability to do oxidation. Now, if you work with either one, what you're going to ultimately end up with is the aldehyde. Now, what if you were working with isopropanol? Well, these are still good enough to oxidize any type of alcohol to an aldehyde or a ketone. So if you just happen to have these lying around, this is a viable option for forming ketones as well. Now, these inherently are slightly water-sensitive catalysts, so if you're working for the practical one with isopropanol, stick with your chromic and dichromic acids. But if you've got the ability to run this, this is also viable. These two materials are viable ways as well for forming the ketones.